that uh, you know people can enjoy their games early and also we get to have some fun. Like tonight, we're having uh, DJ Fender as our host, who is uh, scratching some music for us. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, I look ridiculous with the face paint. I'm a panda. <laughs> You're an army panda. Yes, I am. All right. So, um, how long have you guys been doing these manatees for? Like, how many different titles do you think over the uh, I think maybe on the average we do. Uh, I know, like in the spring and summer times, they're pretty slow for new releases. So, um, on the average, it kind of evens out to about one per month. Um, of course, most of those titles are in the fall and then winter. So, right, in the, yeah, exactly. Like for example, this month alone in October, we'll be doing, or we have already done. Um, uh, Batman last month, or sorry, last week. And, yeah, exactly. And uh, for that, we did a little bit of dress up and everything. Um, and then we had Sony guy come down and show his uh, Sony 3D TV. Oh. Yeah, which was nice. And, and of course, there's Battlefield today. Um, next month, we'll have uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Skyrim. And we're hoping for Zelda oh. with a little niche people. Cool. Yes. Um, so, I mean, how is. How has this affected uh, games like you know, been really has, it been, has it been a big uh, increase in people going lower to the self gate and just people being more familiar with the games? Um, sorry? Okay, okay what you guys are doing in Minnesota is just help other guys people with the games. Um, I think people are pretty aware of Minnesota launches. I mean, like, they always ask whenever something comes out. They're like, hey, you guys are doing Minnesota launches for Title X? And, you know, usually no, because they ask this question like every week. But um, for the bigger titles, we try to accommodate as many people as possible for their interests. What's been some of the most insane net releases that you guys have done? You've had like an overwhelming amount of people. I would probably say Dragon Age 2. Uh, yeah, Bioware yeah. was actually kind enough to come down uh, to our store during the midnight launch and actually give away swags like uh, actual limited edition posters and like things that were sit uh, signed. Their, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, All the wow. uh, like most of the developer guys came down and they were, you know, sitting up on a big uh, around the long table and they were signing stuff for people as they were nice. Yeah, exactly. And they were taking pictures and you know doing uh, podcasts, so it was pretty awesome. Amazing. So yeah. aside from uh, aside from that, uh, Dragon Age, what else is going on?
the past we've had like um, we we've had mina noches for like every like even before I started with this company. But um, you know, before it was just kind of like a lineup, you know, dark alley, and uh, people would pick up and just scan stuff through and then go on that sort of thing. Yeah. There's nothing in the hallway. Well, this was inside so, too. Yeah. It's inside, inside the mall, so you don't have to worry about freezing it. Well. That's true, but then again, like you have to listen to the you know, kind of crappy mall music after hours. And... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, like we really make it more exciting. Like if I were a customer and you know I had to pick up a game and I had to wait in line like in the dark doing nothing else, I wouldn't want to show up necessarily. So. Yeah. So you'd be um, like, yeah, I'll just pick it up. Tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So you want to make it more fun. Yeah, so people, basically people come out and like, wow, that that, that could be games. Like they did, you know, they had the guy like just like Batman. He's walking yeah. around throwing battle rings in the audience. I was forced to Ivy last week. It was pretty hard. Really? <laughs> the red wig everywhere in my face. Uh, actually, it looked like a tranny for a little bit wow. before we had the. So instead the of poison ivy, it was poison tranny. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was a tranny ivy. Wow. It was pretty harsh. I'm like uh, a girl trying to be a guy was trying to be a girl. Alright, so if uh, people want to find this game, where can they, where can they be located? Um, well, obviously on the south end, we're doing the south end location right now, so south gate. And then there is um, uh, in City Center Mall, awesome. there's uh, two in Kingsway Garden Mall currently. There is one that, that uh, recently opened up in West End Mall, which is pretty tiny, but pretty good as well. Um, West, West End by Stony Plain Road is a pretty large location. There's also some in Skyview, Clareview. Some all around outside of Edmonton, like St. Albert, uh, Short Park, Spruce Grove, Ladoo, so there's so you guys everywhere. Just like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Except not fatty. <laughs> not fatty. Yeah. Let's eat lots of game But anyways, thank you very much for this. Oh no problem. Yeah, right. too.